Hey guys, I'm keeping moving with these Freddy reviews leading up to the 2010 remake of the original 1984 film. Today I have Mezco Toy Cinema of Fear Series 3 Fred Krueger. Now you're probably asking yourselves, Series 3, what happened to Freddy in Series 2? Well I skipped over that wave because they offered a Freddy figure that was the standard red and green sweater wearing Freddy and it was in a stylized Mezco manner although the chest of souls was an actually really cool accessory I just felt personally that there were other Freddy figures done in that style and done much better so I sort of passed on them the price wasn't into my liking and the articulation was so so and it wasn't my cuppa now when series 3 rolled around it appears that Mezco has been listening to some of the hardcore horror collectors wishes because this figure lacks the articulation that series 1 and series 2 possessed. Going for a more statuesque look to the character that has been signature for so many years prior. Sculpt is based off of Freddy's look in Nightmare on Elm Street Part 5 The Dream Child in which he assaulted one of the lead protagonist's friends the one that was struggling with an eating disorder and decided that he was going to exploit that weakness to murder her. That is why you see Mr. Kruger bearing this nice chef hat. And there's food on the end of his glove. As far as sculpt goes, the face sculpt isn't the best. It's kind of weird. I'm not a huge, huge fan of it. In terms of the face sculpt, it's not really the best. It captures the look of the character from the film, but I think the head's a little too small. And there's not as much detailing going into the sculpting of the head. It just seems serviceable in comparison to the head from previous waves. For reference sake, I have beside me the very first Mezco Freddy head and you could see all the detailing that went into the sculpting and the detailing that went into this guy which is minimal. It makes it very difficult to distinguish the colors in the color scheme because the head is so poorly sculpted but this guy you can make out everything paint wise pants shoes solid black the same exact color by the way so you can't really tell the difference you could sort of see with the cuffs that you know he's wearing shoes and you know he's wearing shoes and he's wearing a separate pair of pants the cummerbund is a flat red it's there's no shading in it there's no detailing it's just red the shirt also red and green nothing special about it the white in this shirt is actually was more vibrant when I first got it but this guy absorbs whatever colors around him and you can see that he's a little bit dingy and he's a little bit red unlike previous Fred Krueger figures there is no paint detailing in the hand as you can see it's a flat white on the hand and it doesn't even look like a glove it kind of looks like it's just painted on there in terms of paint, the face, it doesn't have the standard Freddy Krueger palette. It seems like it's more of two colors, sort of like a red and a dark, dark peach color. It's just, I don't know, there's something missing here. He just looks like one flat color. Even in the back where there's supposed to be significant paint detail, like I said before, they went for a more statuesque approach, so there isn't a great deal of articulation. The head is on a ball joint. The arms are ball hinged so they go out like that. There's hinges on both elbows, swivels on the wrist, it goes up, down, same thing here, up, down, and the waist is on a ball joint itself. There's no leg articulation, there's no ankle articulation. For accessories, Mr. Kruger comes with his chef hat, and an alternate right hand because we all want a Freddy without the glove and a deformed Freddy baby in conclusion this isn't the most impressive Freddy figure to come about it's probably the least impressive in my collection and I think just the least impressive altogether I would just say get him if you're a completist and you want an alternate version of Freddy aside from his red and green attire. Well, other than that, I don't think I could recommend this guy highly. It's an okay figure, but only if you want to put it amongst other figures of the like. If not, 
I would just say pass. Get a better Freddy. Stay tuned because we're just going to keep rolling these out leading up to the release of the 2010 film. Until next time, you guys stay safe and take care.